champions. A lot of experience under his belt, Tyler. 22 years of experience to be exact, and Danny Briggs is right where he belongs in the main event of the last territory. You see the gold around his waist. And you see Stallion Rodgers coming into the ring. Oh, yeah. Now he's walking back to the curtain. But if we learn one thing from earlier tonight, it doesn't mean he's not coming back out. Absolutely not. Danny Briggs went and got involved in Stallion Rodgers' match, giving him the assist tonight. But Danny Briggs is going to have his hands full as he takes on the real one here tonight in your main event. But Danny Briggs, ever since he's the last territory, he has made a statement in the singles division. Then he teamed up with Stallion Rogers, and then they dominate the tag team division, knocking off the most dominant tag team champions we have seen in the crown. And now he's back in singles action. Danny Briggs seems like he can do it all. Well, he's gonna have his hands full here tonight against the real one. This should be exciting. It should. Of course, Danny Briggs, a former NXT WWE Tag Team Champion. The real one, a former Cruiserweight Champion. Pretty far back. 
That's right. You see, in 2011, I came to the WWE. And this guy was already there at FCW. And he told me how good he was at wrestling and how he was going to make a difference in the world of wrestling and he was going to come from the island of Apex, England and make a name for himself in the States. Well, you know what? I'll give it to you, pal. You did something I never did. You won NXT Tag Team Gold. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. You got that done. But I went on to become the greatest ever rock the stick and wear a purple strap since Donatello. And that was a Ninja Turtles joke. And if you're over your head, don't worry. I ain't got to come out of my shell to crack yours, pal. That's right. Because there ain't going to be no turtle heads poking. I'm just going to beat the crap out of you. That's right. I'm just going to beat the crap out of you. Because all these people in Florida, they made it real easy for me to look at a guy like you and say, there's only one word to describe you, and I'm going to spell it out for you. S-A-W-F-T. So, how you do? I would agree with that statement. I don't think Danny Briggs has soft that out at all, but what am I to correct the real one? <laughs> Finally, Tyler, the bell sounds, and this one, is underway. He's a wizard with that microphone. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with him there. I didn't know he had an off switch around. Danny Briggs, though, all business, long elbow tie up. They're jockeying the position here. Briggs, a little sidestep, shoving him off. Both men look to be in great shape. Process here, trying to get a Greco move from the knuckle lock. Come on! Briggs sidesteps, walks away, fighting his time here. Very, very patient wrestler is Danny Briggs. Now a double tie into the side headlock. Really want to escape, but gets met with a shoulder tackle. Little side headlock takeover by Danny Briggs. That's exactly what Danny Briggs wants to do, keep it a technical match. He is so damn good when it comes to grabbing on a body part and working on it. And he's doing just that against the Come on, Angel. A Briggs training oh, yeah, through the of David yeah. Taylor, a William Regal, and a Chris Benoit. So he learned from the best. The real one now, that head scissors. Squared off, neither man with a distinct advantage. I'm surprised Real One is going and, and just grappling with Danny Briggs. Real One, I guess, he wants to put his grappling experience to the test as well. Well, since his departure from WWE, uh, Real One has spent a lot of time in the square circle training. Now, look at that, Briggs. He tried for a roll with the Real One. Briggs put on the brakes. And the Real One finds himself on the outside of the ring. I'm loving what I've seen so far. Yeah, so far it's been a great matchup. Nice great ankle pick. Yeah. Real one now. A couple of boots to the thigh. Again, staying on that ankle. Trying to pass the guard. Inside step over toe hole. Nicely done here. A lot of pressure coming down by the real one on Briggs. Has that leg barred. <laughs> the real one trying to escape there, but breaks between that ankle. They break so on that leg, on that ankle, again locking it. They break so always making sure he's going on with the legs. Just squeeze that ankle. Briggs has him in the center of the ring, real one. He needs to try and make some kind of escape here. Oh, man. Outstanding technical wrestling on display. 
like Danny Burch, I would expect nothing less. He's got the real one back to back. Nelson by Briggs, spins him around, snap, airs him over. That's so good, Dan, but look at real one. He went for that chin lock, the real one slipped right out to a hammer lock. Nicely done by Enzo, now dropping that knee. Of course, that trap on him. Certified G with this certified wrist lock right now. Wrenching on it behind the back of Danny Briggs. Briggs gets to the road. Referee Three, calling for the break. Four. Break. Look at look at the real one. Maintaining contact, hand on that head. He's got that wrestling stance. I mean, he's ready to shoot. Any time, try to go for another ankle pick, baby. Really, a completely different wrestler than we saw in WWE, Tyler. Absolutely. There it is, Danny Briggs. Very effective move to that midsection. Grabs the headlock, but Enzo quickly sends him for a ride. Nice shoulder tackle by Danny Briggs. Leapfrog. Nice hip lock takeover. Goes for the cover one. And an arm bar by the real one. Yeah, like your like your point. Uh, Enzo, a former WWE champion, you know, known for his fast, high offense style. And now he's just there grappling. Just shows how much work he's been in the ring. He's standing one of the toe -to -toe with the best technical wrestlers in the world. Probably in the best shape I've ever seen him in. Absolutely. We accredited his channel earlier. And now wrenching on that arm. Yanking hard on that driving the shoulder into the shoulder of Briggs. Wrapping that arm around the road. The referee coming for the break, but the real one not relented. And a right hand that time caught Briggs on the jaw. Sets him for the ride here. Reversal of by Briggs and hard into the buckle. Goes the real one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> like a mule. A straight boot right to the face and walk right into a drop toe hole. Again, as you pointed out, Tyler, not quite the match that we expected. A little different. <laughs> now these two are going toe to toe with their wrestling skills. Now dumping out the real one. This one, hey, the Gumpel likes to get down and dirty. Now they're going to the outside. He is the strong style here. They don't call him that for nothing. Oh, they fetch chop. Real one trying to create some separation, feeling the effects of that chop. And Danny breaks like a shark that smells blood in the water going right after him. Oh, man, he caught him. Right on the draw that time. Briggs rolls in to break the count, rolls right back out to deliver more punishment to the real one. Slow again, right hand to the jaw. The slow, methodical pace so far. The governor doing a great job. Oh man, I couldn't see what happened right there. Yeah, he's out of our out of our view. Couldn't tell from the vantage point. Sounded nasty though. Looks like real one sent. Danny Briggs into a barricade. Look at this dance. Oh, he cracks him on that guardrail. Keeping Danny Briggs there. You better pay attention to the count, though, Tyler. You don't want this one to on the outside of the ring. Absolutely not. Now Danny Briggs right back on real one. Just stomped on him. Another chair, Briggs. Come on. And again, another knife edge chop. But look at Enzo just absorbing that blow. He went for the he went for the reversal and ended up getting the stairs. Man, a good referee out there checking on him. He's getting up to his feet somehow. Real one is tough. Real one trying to get back into the ring. And that apron, nothing good happens there. Send that damn straight down to the apron. Oh, I think the 
real one was out on his feet. What a cutter, Dan. That could be it. Beautifully done. Hook of the leg. That could one, be it. Two. two. At Amore, showing some intestinal fortitude there. Strong kick out. The real one almost eating the loss there. He's got to find that heart, find that fighting spirit, get back into this. Right now, Danny brings it back all over him, showing off that experience, that veteran mentality of his. He went hard in the buckle again, came firing right back out with the boot to the face. Insiguri didn't catch him where he wanted to, but enough to put Briggs down to a knee. As you see, Enzo now getting back to his feet and out of the ring, going to the top rope. Oh man, Danny Briggs had scouted. Slammed him off the top rope, but look at the burst of energy from Enzo. Oh. And a double clothesline, both men are down. One. Both men down indeed. Enzo showing that hard off, showing that toughness. Firing with a close on his own as he met Danny Briggs. Briggs still flat on his back into Amore. The real one, up to his knees, that should break the count. There it is. Now he's back on his feet, that's certainly a big count. And Briggs saying, hit me. I don't know how smart that is, but Danny Briggs is one tough SOB. How about that, he's pain like candy. And they're exchanging right hands now. The real one on wobbly legs, but still managed to fire back. And he is staying there toe to toe with Danny Briggs. We're going at it, that time he dug. Oh, drove him down, had that arm trap as well. What's he looking for here, Dan? Got him lined up. Oh, big kick to the ribs. Slow down the breathing of Danny Briggs big time. And now Enzo. The real one again to the outside, Tyler. Looks like he's going to the top. And this is where we're more accustomed to seeing real one to fly. Will he be able to get it off? Danny Briggs on Wobbly Legs is going home. Nobody home. Nonchalantly sidestepping, sidestepping a flying real one. And real one now in trouble. Landed nasty on that arm. Vicious by Danny Briggs. I mean, he could have just pulled that shoulder out of the socket there, bouncing off the top rope. You hear the crowd now getting behind the real one. Trying to breathe new life back into him. But Briggs setting him up on that top rope. That top turnbuckle going up. Who's looking for a superplex here? Briggs, Briggs though, at the receiving end of several shots in the rib cage. Here comes real and so, oh, and diving DDT, beautifully done. Can he capitalize, get to the cover? Yes, he can. Wait, what the hell is this? Stallion Rogers putting the foot on the rope for Danny Briggs, you gotta be kidding me. Well, very reminiscent of earlier in the evening as Briggs came to the aid of Rogers in his matchup against Domino. Right, Danny Briggs cost Domino that match, and now Stallion Rogers looking to cost real one. Oh, here comes Domino. Here's Domino to even the odds. Domino now with right hands. But wait, back in the middle, re roll one, one, two. two. Oh, able one. to kick out, Got out of the way of that clothesline. And look at this, eight defeat. He is done so, go for the cover. One, one two, two, three, he got him. Glorious in our main event here at Summer Glory. What a night, Tyler. What a night indeed. What a main event. The real one stood toe to toe with the governor and walked out victorious. Give the credit to Domino to evening the odds. And now, real one going to celebrate with all the fans here in Fort St. Lucie. What a night, Dan. Well, Tyler, you said it. An unbelievable evening here at Port St. Lucie at Summer Glory. We saw the debut of Van Bruggen in that matchup against Cha Cha Charlie. Man, that guy has got a great future here at CCW, seven feet tall. An unbelievable lineup from top to bottom.
Yeah, it was unbelievable. We also saw the debut of Dave the Dad. We saw this unbelievable main event between Danny Briggs and the real one. Real one walking out victorious. The last territory's on a roll, Dan. And we got more shows lined up. And we're returning here to Port St. Lucie on October 4th for Breaking Chain. But don't forget, the last bash, August 31st in Hialeah, Florida. On behalf of our ring announcer, Alicia Almeida, and my broadcast colleague, Tyler Kashmir, this is Dan Evans saying good night for Port St. Lucie.